Hello my friends, how are you? Um, okay, today I'm making a little, a small video. As you see, I'm in a beautiful place. I'm gonna go and enjoy my, my walk by the seaside and then have something to eat. But the reason why I'm making this small video is to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. I have, um, I have surpassed the 100 subscribers and I'm as happy as this cock that just, as this rooster that just, you know, I'm doing the same thing. So thank you, thank you for being my subscribers. I know that 100 is not just a big number, but to me it means a lot. And especially when it's uh, combined with quality, because I know that my subscribers, you all have quality. So as you all know, our company of people has grown. And in the future, I'm hoping that our company is going to grow more and more. And today I'm going to take you with me to a little walk. I'm going to go to the local bus here in the track. Come with me. And from here, 
here now to see something else. This place used to be um, a coffee shop. <laughs> This, as you know, is called Bucambilia, Bucambilia in Greek. And the quantity of magnesium by the Lutraki water is 94%. Well, other big names, I don't want to call, I don't want to refer to any other waters, they have about 20, 22 when it comes to magnesium. So that's the hidden gem of this area. Other than the natural beauty, of course. <laughs> to drink that healing water but also have to 
bathe in it, you know. And inside the baths that we're not going to see now because they're closed for refurb refurbishing reasons. Uh, it's so beautiful. It's all within the side. So as you, as I was saying earlier, I will show you a sneak peek of the actual bath inside because as I said, they're closed. As you see, up on the wall, there is beautiful mosaic with gold and these beautiful blue colors of the sea and nymphs. These are um, pictures from the ancient world. Since I cannot take inside and show you the whole uh, spa and how it is, and um, since it's very beautiful and I really want to do that for you, instead I'll put photos that I have from previous visits of mine in the spa and I'll tell you, in, and, tell you and show you in detail what you can see inside. So let's start with the first photo. The photo we see at the entrance, at the east entrance of the spa, we see um, a nereid carrying the healing water of this thermal uh, spa and she welcomes the guests, the visitors in the actual healing place. In the next photo we see the big marbles with this um, nice green color that represents the green color that the healing water has. It has a mild green hue to it. So these marbles, they are around the fountain. At the down, si down right side of this photo, you can see the par part of the fountain and the rock that from there, it's where the healing water comes from. And in the next photo, we see the fountain, we see the rock and stones and we can have a very good picture of how the healing water looks like inside the fountain. Now, the rock you see at the back of the fountain and where the healing water comes from, if you look up at the top of the rock, there has been made a beautiful dome which is also decorated with amazing mosaic paintings. Here we can see a view, a part of this dome, the central part I would say. You can see the sun on his chariot with the four horses. The four horses that the sun has in his chariot are called Pyrois, Eos, Ethon and Phlegon. Okay, now I give you information that I know it's, it's not easy to be found, but I like always to give to my viewers, to my subscribers, the best of quality, since you are quality as well. <laughs> okay, and coming back now to this beautiful dome, this representation of the sun and next to it, you will see in a bit, there is a girl sleeping. The girl represents the night. And the sun on his chariot coming from the oceans represents the end of the night and the dawn of a new day. As um, literal, as symbolic as well. And in these representations here, these mosaics, you can see druids dancing. Okay, these mosaics, these paintings now, they are on the um, top of the fountain. It's what I was trying to show you from the outside of the spa when it was closed. So they are at the top of the marble um, columns. So you can see the druids dancing, holding flowers, and there are different representations from east to west. And at the very end of these druids, of these mosaics, you can see two satyrs, one at the east side and one at the west. 
These are all spectacular, so many beautiful, beautiful colors. And all that is piece by piece. I sound so enthusiastic and passionate about it because mosaic work, it's one of my favorite types of um, art. And if you're not familiar with it, it would be really nice to research and find out about how mosaic work is done. It is not just detailed. It, it takes a lot of effort and you really need to love what you're doing in order to do it because, oh boy, I tried once to do it because a cousin of mine is doing mosaic work and it really takes, I, I not just love, I think you should adore it in order to do it. It is, it is so, it needs so much energy and admiring and adoring what you do. That's what I would say in order to, to be uh, good at it in order for your uh, result to be something that people will look at it and say, oh my, this is so beautiful. Exactly like the um, mosaics I've been showing you, the ones that are inside this spa. And the very last one we see already, it's another uh, Nereid that she's at the west entrance. So she's the one that says to you that, you know what, now you've done your healing spa and you're good to go. <laughs> or I guess something like this. The rock is natural and the temperature of the thermal water ranges between 30 and 34 degrees Celsius. The main characteristics of the water is that it's weakly alkaline with a pH of 7.2 to 7.3. It's hypotonic. Um, and as previously mentioned, is radioactive at a temperature of 30 to 34 degrees Celsius. It's 14 units of Mach radioactivity. It's sodium chloride and oligometallic. Just this specific information for those of you that you are interested also in the chemical part of it. Now, the recommended dosage from the beginning of the operation of the spring was and remains up to three glasses of water a day for those who have any of the following diseases. Arthritis, disc disease, chronic rheumatism, arteriosclerosis, vertebral arthritis, bladder diseases, constipation, obesity, gallstones, nephrolithiasis, sandblasting, indigestion, and diabetes. As for the baths, they do very well to those who have skin problems, eczema, cervical, musculoskeletal, and post-traumatic diseases. Well, I couldn't just do this video without showing you the inside of this spa, and that's why I did all this uh, presentation right now. I hope really that you enjoyed it and at some point you might visit this specific spa and now let's go on with the rest of my video come with me as you see the view from the tracking in front of us and now we're going to the other entrance of the museum bus <laughs> when it was still open. Δημοτική Ιαματική Πηγή Λουτρακίου which means Municipal Healing Fountain of Λουτράκη and come have another look from the main entrance of the fountain and the baths here. And now you can have a much better look here. Oh my god, I always used to love this mosaic work in here. And as you saw here at the fountain, here out in the light. As I said, this fountain is closed now, but there is a new spa in the city of Lutraki, which 
in a way has replaced this so that's why this one is a museum now it is also very beautiful well in my opinion this is the most beautiful thing because it's, it's it takes you back to a different time a different era but the new spa is also nice and it's down that way so i just showed you The new spa that has opened in the city, inside the city of Treki, it's uh, where the services now take place. You cannot come here and get into the fountain. You just go there and it's a luxurious new type of spa that's combined with the healing waters of the Treki, the Yelania mountain. So that spa, it's, for that reason, it's very special. Until my next video, I send you all my love and all my kisses.